first race, we had six boats started. Yep. And one went off to do whatever we did. <laughs> the other boat uh, got around the course almost all the way and then decided it was enough. <laughs> but we had in the first race, was race one. Right here. We had four finishers. It was close. In fourth place was Zach Scruggs with Furlough. Third place with an elapsed time of one hour and 51 minutes was Steve McCollum's crew on Charisma. And second place with an hour and 43 minutes elapsed time was Shutter Speed. Hey! Hey! No applause, just throw money. And in first place, using all the proper sales, <laughs> Billy Portis' crew on Coquette. One hour. Hey. He said, all it's right way. It seemed that the first race, Billy was able to finish with a breeze, and everyone else sort of said, I'll hang around. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah, with the that's, yeah, he did. That's, that's where the big split was. After the first rounding, there was not that much of a, uh, a split. Yeah. I've got the times and the corrected times for the first rounding, so you can see it was a lot closer than the final result because of that dying breeze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the second race, I evidently had some issues at the start because I was, wasn't thinking about the starting line as much as I was thinking about the course and the clock because I set a starting line of about 30 yards which wasn't very big at all so I, I had to move the committee boat and so everyone why we were firing the gun off a lot anyway. In fourth place, <laughs> Zach Scrubs Furlow. And th this is this is good because we have very close racing in the second race. Obviously, you heard of the controversy about whether a exotic. Stasel is not a spinnaker, is not a whatever. The Whomper, I guess they call it the Whomper. <laughs> but uh, as it ended up in third place, with an elapsed time corrected to one hour, 36 minutes, 42 seconds, was Charisma and his group. Now in second place where the controversy was, <laughs> we have a uh, close race and that uh, whomper really causes a good controversy because in second place, second place is Dick Dixon. Second place? Second place, Dick Dixon. Oh, what? Oh. One hour, 34 minutes and 50 seconds. And Coquette in first place, one hour, 34 minutes, and four seconds. What was the difference? It was uh, 44, uh, 46 seconds. I don't understand. And I've got, I've got, I've got the times and the distances. If someone wants to do my math. Uh, you know, computer is just as good as you program. Questions from the audience. Uh, what is what in the who world? Is Papa does Papa mean? <laughs> <laughs> Papa means preparatory. 
Which is? Which is? what? Four <laughs> minutes. It goes up at four minutes to start. It comes down at one minute to start. <laughs> if you looked in the room, you would find out what the going to be. Hey, hey, so when, when he says pop on the radio, you better have your... Now, now I, I, had, I had some comments so earlier. Four minutes to one why, minute. I'm, I'm going to explain what happens here. We had another another issue with some of the other uh, competitors. In one of the races, there was a lot of horn uh, honking and flag waving. Gunfire too. Oh, that was geese. And and so the the uh, the uh, formal way to start a civil race is you announce that the starting line flag, which is orange, will be put up at five minutes to the preparatory signal. So the gun will go up at the five minute mark. I also have the AP pinned up, which is postponed. I'll bring that down in one minute to the class flag, which is the class flag is Foxtrot for class A. And that's so you don't have to be looking around all morning. You can be looking to see if the AP flag is up. When it comes down, you know you've got a minute to an important event. That is your five minute gun. Five minutes, your class flag goes up. At four minutes, your pop-up goes up. At one minute, your pop-up comes down. Start your class flag. Class flag goes up. Is that good? Drunken sailor, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?